Hi there, my name is Mark and this is a tutorial about Google Sites and specifically I'm going to talk mostly about Google Sites with education. But first I'll explain what Google Sites is and how, how you can use it. Uh, Google Sites is a type of a website uh, that is free and it allows you to create uh, rich website pages without knowing HTML. Uh, it allows you to put all your information into one place and uh, like many of the other Google applications it allows you to control uh, who can view it, uh, the sharing rights, uh, who can edit and, and uh, who can uh, work, work on the site along with you. Uh, the permissions uh, are allowed based on what, what permissions you set. And that makes Google Sites uh, a little bit different than a normal website. And it, and it makes it really good for uh, organizations to use and groups to use, uh, like a classroom. Uh, Google Sites is, is being used all over the world right now for uh, intranet sites for, for businesses. And in a way, that's how classrooms are using it also. Uh, classrooms have uh, the ability to create their own site and then limit the uh, uh, people who can use the site to just the students. And in their example page, they even have a, a classroom site set up. And I'll show that to you. And you can see uh, how, how the teacher has a little bit of information about her on it. A uh, picture of her, it has class announcements, it has assignments, uh, a word of the day, has a site map, uh, it has boxes over here for uh, assignments and, and, you know, just how the teacher wants to communicate with the students. Uh, this is just one example of a Google site. Uh, it's a pretty simple one, but... Uh, there's many other sites that, that, that are out there that you can put together, like this company intranet site. And for a company intranet site, it allows just the employees to have access to it, if that's what the owner of the site chooses. Uh, another way to use Google Sites in the education world is for class projects. Uh, the teacher can assign groups of students to work together to create a Google Site. and it, based on uh, the topic of the day or the curriculum of the classroom and the teacher can form you know three or four different groups and each group creates a site with with the information for their research project uh, at the end of the project that maybe they can open up the sharing rights to the entire class and uh, the, the main thing is it, it's, it's very good for group collaboration and for classrooms to, to work together on creating project-based assignments. Uh, the, the other types of examples here is they have a ski club site, there's a team project site, uh, a play group site, whichever that is. It looks like it's a uh, uh, a fun group that actually has Google Calendars embedded into it. Uh, one, one, another nice feature with Google Sites is that you can you can uh, embed other Google products into it, like Google Docs or or Google uh, uh, Google Groups, and and you know have have a comprehensive site that, that does a lot more than just what a regular website does. But anyway, from an educational standpoint, my suggestion is for, for the, the teacher to use it as a bio page and a, a page to put the uh, class assignments out on, and then also for students to work individually or as groups in collaborative assignments where they uh, use constructivist theories of learning and project-based assignments to uh, accomplish their task. Anyway, that's it for Google Sites. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and we'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching.